Hey, what is going on, guys? Today's video, we're going to be talking about Dying Light 2 and why its delay is a good thing. Also, guys, in the background gameplay, I have some Dragon Ball Z Kakarot's not Dying Light 2. Uh, the reason why I didn't use Dying Light 2 gameplay is because, guys, I just didn't feel like using it. Uh, I I'm using that for next one, and plus, guys, I already had uh, this gameplay, so I may as well use it. And plus, Dying Light gameplay, I don't really have any good clips, and I really didn't have that many because, one, I haven't been on Dying Light that much, and I haven't really been recording much, so it wouldn't make sense for me to use that those clips because they really aren't really that entertaining I thought it'd be better if you use Dragon Ball Z Kakarot clips because it, it's just background gameplay to keep you guys entertained while you're watching or either if you're listening either way let's talk about Dying Light 2 so if you guys don't know Dying Light 2 had got delayed uh, about a few months ago they talked about it guys I'm very late to this uh, about a month ago I would say they talked about Dying Light 2 it got delayed indefinitely now guys they talked about why it got delayed there's articles about it talking about they had to polish the game but guys my thing is I, I believe it is the polishing that is one thing I guarantee that is uh, I think they are working on it they do want to polish it more which again that is good that they're doing that because uh, we all know if you guys don't know when Dying Light 1 first came out uh, originally Dying Light 1 was supposed to come out February 15th or February 25th, or it was one of those times. It was supposed to come out in February, but Dying Lights, Techland thought the game was already because Techland had you know said the game was already finished and they released it a month early, so they released it January 25th, which again wasn't bad anyway. We still got to play it, but a lot of people said, and this is a big thing they talked about, was the game should have been with that month they had left, they should have had time to optimize the game more because people thought that the game could have been optimized a lot more. In my opinion, I did believe that as well. It could be optimized a lot more, but still, the game was perfectly fine. Looked amazing. I still had fun with it, and the game was was a huge success. It was a good, you know, it was a good uh, success for Techland because Techland was really known at the time for, uh, you know, Dead Island, and you know, not a lot, not a lot of people really cared for Dead Island. Uh, I wasn't a fan of Dead Island the way it was going. I played a few Dead Islands, but it just wasn't my thing. Uh, Dying Light was one of those was one of those games that brought me to Techland. It just really has me rooting for the company a lot more. So you know, uh, when it got delayed, I kind of thought like it could be because of polishing. That could be one reason they didn't they didn't mention that. But another reason, and a lot of people assume this, is because they're working on the next gen versions, the PS5 and the Xbox Series X version, which is not a bad thing to think about. That is a consideration because those consoles do it are going to be dropping in around holiday 2020. So. Uh, it would be like, yeah, they are possibly working on that, because for all you know, they want to make sure they could be launch titles as well for the PS5 and Xbox One. Uh, there was a, a person in my comment section that told me that Dying Light 2 had got a leaked release date by GameStop for September, but I really don't know if you can believe that, because GameStop, you know, GameStop, Best Buy, they always have these stock release dates, but, you know, because on Wikipedia, there was a stock release date for June, which could have been the release date for all you know. Uh, they were talking about spring 2020, but unfortunately that never really happened. Uh, another another reason why I think Dying Light got delayed was one for polishing, two maybe because of next gen, and uh, I would say possibly yeah for surely a next gen version as well. And a third thing, Dying Light was gonna come out if it came out springtime. I don't think it would have been, you know, guys. Cause think about it, springtime we have a lot of games coming up. Cyber or Cyber Cyberpunk comes out in September now, but we have Last of Us. We have Ghost of Shima. We have uh, quite a few games coming out around the summertime. So, and around springtime. So I think they kind of saw the way it was. And they're like, you know what? We may as well just be a little bit cautionistic about it. I think that was another thing that put them to, you know, pushed it more to, like, you know, a little bit later on. I think they didn't. I, I guarantee you guys, in my opinion, I don't think we're going to see Dying Light uh, anywhere near April, May, June, July. We could possibly see it in July, possibly August. But I, 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 even though even the September release date. That could be a good release window as well. Now, that that could be a good release date, but we don't know what day of September. For all you know, they might not even want September. It could be October. My opinion, I think October is going to be the initial release date. Guys, don't quote me on that, but I believe. Now, I'm saying this right now. I believe October is going to be the is going to be the month when we get Dying Light because, you know, it's a zombie game and then, you know, Halloween, that's a month of I'd say Halloween and stuff like that. I think that'll be a good way for Dying Light to introduce it and plus November is around the time when we would see the PS5 and you know Xbox Series X. That's what we saw last time, holiday 2020. Or if not November, we could always see it, you know, uh, December. But I don't really see it December because that's the Christmas time. I think it's better if they release in November. That'd be the best way, in my opinion. Uh, and another thing, guys, if you guys have not been hearing the news, the whole coronavirus, all that stuff, these co next-gen consoles may get delayed a year. But what I've been hearing is that the 
the consoles manufacturers they haven't been affected by this at all and uh yeah also guys i just want to say one thing stay safe out there guys be you know wash your hands make sure that when you're you know outside you just be safe uh always washing your hands just be clean stuff like that just be very hygienic and uh yeah guys, just be safe out there just want to let you guys know that before uh, the video goes on but you know back to dying light 2 so if it is to come out around you know october that would make a lot of sense because one i guarantee you they were already making the ps5 and xbox series uh versions and they were just working on those at the moment i, I think they were just working on those and when they were and when they you know the ps5 was officially announced that's when they could officially talk about it because uh when you found back then got there's like a few months before the ps5 when they were talking to e3 2019 they weren't really talking about the next gen version like oh we don't we don't know we'll have to see but then they officially confirmed it when the PS5 and Xbox Series X were, you know, officially confirmed. Or they were already confirmed, but they were officially announced, I would say. And that's when they said, oh, there's going to be, you know, next-gen ports for the PS5 and Xbox Series X, which is good. Now that they've been talking about that, I think, in my opinion, I, I think, because if you guys don't know, when the Dying Light, the following that came out, uh, there was an interview that, I, I don't know who did, I think it was IGN, whoever it was, they had asked the lead, uh, you know, the lead director of Techland, you know, will there be a Dying Light 2? And what they had said was, is that it was pretty insane. And it had people kind of like, oh, wow. Uh, what they said was, is that, you know, Dying Light 2, they're not sure if they're, they're going to be able to capture their dream on console. And then people are like, oh, wait, like, you know, they're talking about it's better on PC. And a lot of people are speculating, is Dying Light 2 going to happen? You know, so that was a big thing that Techland had talked about was, you know, they're not sure if Dying Light 2 would be able, or sequel would be, you know, able to, you know, on consoles to fathom what it would be like, you know, if their dream could come true on consoles. Which had a little people like, oh, that doesn't mean PS4 and Xbox One. We really didn't know. Uh, so a lot of people said that it could come out a years after. It'll be a while since we see another Dying Light. I said, that guy's believe, I told my friend, I think it was, yeah, like three years ago, four years ago, I remember I was like, oh, Dying Light 2 is going to happen in 2021 or 2020. And I, I initially thought the PS5 was going to come out in 2021, but it's coming out 2020 or who, who knows, it might come out 2021 as well. So, you know, it, it's, it's insane of how now the dream, maybe the, there was an issue at the point being, but uh, for all you know, the consoles now could handle it. I guarantee the game Dying Light 2, it's going to, there'll be, I would say that there, there'll be dramatic differences with the PS5 and, you know, the uh, old gen and the next gen versions, there'll be a lot of differences, but I guarantee they'll be on par, because, you know, the consoles, since we have the uh, the PS4 Pro and this, uh, the Xbox One X versions as well, though, so I wouldn't see that much of a difference in those versions as well, so uh, I, I wouldn't expect a big leap. I guarantee the game will be at a very good frame rate, and just the way it would look, it'll look a lot more visually better on the newer consoles. But uh, I, I, I just think, in my opinion, the the reason why is the reason why Dying Light 2 getting delayed is a good thing is because one, it gives the game time to be made with this delicate time. Techland gets to do what they need to do and have just have all their creativeness on the game. Just focus on Dying Light 2. Now I made a video, I would say, a few hours ago where I talked about Dying Light Bad Blood. Uh, when I was talking about where it was at, like what's going to happen to it, like is it going to come out? And to be honest, in my opinion, I think it's better that Techland is focusing on Dying Light 2 because it lets them focus on that game because we all want it, we all want to play it, and personally, we just wanted to make sure it's at its best, that it does justice to the Dying Light, you know, series. It does best to the to Dying Light 1, which it will. Uh, one thing I know Techland did talk about was they want to make sure that they're going to have four years of support for Dying Light. They're going to have a four years of support with updating it with DLCs, community events, expansions, you know, map expansions, stuff like that. And that is amazing to hear because, guys, like, one thing I got to say is Techland, they are the most, like, loyal company to their fans. I remember when Dying Light, the enhanced version came out. So, guys, the enhancements for it, but this is mainly for PCs if you want to get, like, the, you know, the enhanced, like, visuals and stuff like that. What Techland did was is that even for people on consoles well, to get the you know deluxe stuff, they made that update free. We didn't have to buy that enhanced version. It was such a good thing that Techland did. It was actually a big news story that they did that. And also, guys, Techland is, has been updating Dying Light with community events, with new weapon drops, with the following. A lot of things that Techland did for for Techland did for a good four years, close to five years now. They've been you know supporting Dying Light, which is insane. 
and it just shows how much they love the community, how much they love the game. So, no, no mind, no doubt in my mind that they're definitely going to be, you know, up late, updating Dying Light 2 and just doing the best with it. And I can't wait to see what they do because now Dying Light 2 has so many, like, it, it has so much potential to keep going. and so much, like, as the one thing I cannot wait to see is what they do with it. Uh, they, when they talk about expansions and you know the vast DLCs and just story content, new stuff that they're gonna be doing with Dying Light 2, I was so excited, man, honestly. So th that's another reason why I believe it got delayed was because, and why it's a good thing is because they're working on that. They're working on the DLC, the side content they're gonna be working on, and just the game being worked on is amazing. That they're just taking their time with it. That's another good thing. I think that helps out a lot. I just keeps people, uh, I, I know people be like, oh, I really want to play the game, I really wish they talk more about it, I want to see some new details, some more, you know, some more gameplay, I would love to see that more about it, uh, some new gameplay, uh, you know, let us know more about our, you know, our main character, Aiden, Cal uh, as well, I want to see more about him and how the Dark Zones work out, and just how the infection is now, like, is Anderson needed, I'm, I'm also making a video on, on Dying Light 2 and on either Antizen and why, if it's even still needed. So I would love to know a lot more about that, what the GRE's role is. So, uh, yeah, guys. Either way, let me know down below what you guys think about Dying Light 2 being delayed. You know, you I know a lot of you are going to say it's a good thing, but, like, what do you think? What was the main reason it got delayed? Was it because the, the next-gen ports, the polishing, or it just needs time, or just Techland just needs to take their time? Whatever it is, guys, let me know down below. I'll be heart in your comments replying, y'all. And I'll see you guys next time. Also, guys... If you guys could, can we get this video to 20 likes? I'm start, I'm trying a new thing where I'm trying to try new goals, like like goals, and see how that works out. Also, if you enjoy the channel, enjoy the content I make, remember guys, subscribe is free. It really helps out a lot. Also guys, let me know that you guys enjoyed the videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace guys.